Hi, good evening. Tonight I'm going to show you how to adjust the transmitting power on my radio. My radio is operating in the digital mode. Basically, it's WSJT-XFT8 mode. Uh, there are three ways to change the power. The first one is uh, adjust the power bar. The second is USB mod level. The third is audio output. Let me show you how to do the power bar. Uh, first, let me to, uh, explain you the setup. This is my radio. Uh, this is the uh, app, and uh, this app uh, has the power bar on the side, and uh, each grid is 5 dB lower, 5 dB lower, 5 dB lower, 5 dB lower. Uh, this is the full, full, full power output. And uh, this uh, uh, app drives this radio, and uh, this radio uh, has 40 dB attenuation here and uh, goes to my the output goes to my special analyzer and uh, now I'm setting the radio power to 10 dB uh, 10 watts here 10 watts 10 watts is uh, 40 dBm 40 dBm uh, after 40 dB attenuation it should be 0 dBm to my to my uh, special analyzer let's see if it's 0 dBm it is exactly 0 dBm here. Uh, this is the 0 line. So, so it looks like uh, everything is uh, accurate. Uh, so now let me adjust the power bar. Uh, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to shoot the power out. Then I'm going to adjust the power bar accordingly. Let's see if it's, uh, uh, the power bar is accurate. Okay. Okay, this is the maximum power, which is the, uh, 0 dBm. Now I go 5 dB down. Let me see from the... This is, this is about 5 dB down. Uh, it's not accurate. It only tells me that it's uh, 1 dB down. And then let me go to 20 dB down. It's only 10 dB down. Uh, then it go to 30 dB down. It's 20 dB. <laughs> so this power bar is not really accurate. Let me go further. Uh, the power bar tells me it's 40 dB down. It's 30 dB. Looks like it's off by 10 dB. Let me go to uh, 10 dB down. Now the power bar shows 10 dB down. It is only 2 dB, 2 dB down. And uh, after 20 dB down, it's 10 dB down. So after after 20 dB, it's uh, uh, it's increasing uh, uh, proportionally, but it's uh, the power bar is not accurate. But we know that the power bar really adjusts the power. So let me move back to the the top power. Okay. The second way to adjust it is uh, change the change the uh, USB mod level. Okay, this is always uh, people asking the question: What the mod level does? So you go to settings, go to connectors. This is USB mod level right here, and right now it's 45, 45 percent. I will explain to you why I said 45%. Let's see. Okay, uh, let me send out the, the signal. Okay, let me send out signal and I try to adjust the power. Uh, okay, this is the power. So now I go to uh, set up. Uh, you cannot see what, what I did down here. So I let me go lower. This is zero, uh, mod, uh, USB mod is uh, 26 dB down. If I increase the mod level, it's increasing. Um, it's increasing. Then at 45, it's a cutoff. After 45, right now it's over 45. Uh, it's uh, uh, 0 0.77 dBm. But if I increase it, it's the same. Let me show you here. Here. At at a hundred percent mod level, 
you can see that it's 0.77. So if I lower this small level to 245, you can see that the output is the same. No difference. The output power is the same. No difference. But the thing, but after 45 percent, say 40, 40 percent, you can you can see the mod level is going down, to going down. So so let me increase that. 40 now it's 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. This is 45. And now it's 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. No change. After 45, no change. Why? Because after 45, ALC kicks in. So you want, you don't want ALC kick in, but you want the uh, maximum power output. So just set it to 45. I show you. Just set to this 45. You're all good. Uh, below 45, your, your, your ALC is not, is not kicked in, but you're wasting a little bit of uh, resource. Above 45, uh, the ALC will kick in, will distort the signal, so use 45. Many people suggest 40, but uh, 45 is optimal here. Okay. The third one is audio output. Look here. In, this is the Mac. You can go here, go here. Uh, this is audio output. I'm going to adjust this uh, uh, output bar here. Back and forth, okay? Now this is maximum. Watch this one. Right now it's maximum. I'm going to lower it. It's 80%. It's a halfway, 50% of the audio volume. It's 25%. It's a, it's a 10%. And it's no audio output. OK, now I increase that to 100%. What does that mean? You always set the USB audio output to the max. Earlier, I did not set this one. The default is maybe 10%, 20%. So my audio output is always low. Uh, so. So set these two things, uh, three, uh, four things. Let me write down. Power bar should be a hundred percent, forty-five percent. Then you set this one. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to show you from the power meter. Uh, this is all good. Uh, I'm supposed. I, I actually I can see it from my special analyzer, but somehow special analyzer uh stop increasing the power after uh, maybe fifty watts. Okay, so I'm going to go go from zero percent, uh like one percent all the way to a hundred uh one watts all the way to a hundred watts. Let's see if the if my watts meter shows the difference. Okay. This is 1 watts, uh, 10 watts, this is 200 watts total, uh, this is 200 watts total, so 100 watts is around here, okay, now it's just 20 watts, 30 watts, 40 watts, let me go 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It's right on the mark, 100. Let me go down, it's too hot. The attenuate is very hot right now. It's 50, it's right on the mark. It's 20 watts. It's 20 watts, I need to adjust. Yeah, it's almost 20 watts, 18 watts. Uh, this parameter might not be accurate, okay. So I show you three ways to adjust the power. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, this is uh, uh, pretty accurate. Bye bye.